Ever wanted to make a LEGO Scale Daphne figure actually walk with a smooth real gait? After 20 years building over 50 LEGO walkers, I finally refined a mechanism that gives this heavy figure a steady natural step. So in this video I'm going to show you how it works and how you can adapt these legs to any character you want. When LEGO released this little guy, I knew right away I had to make it work. Problem is, there's almost no room inside, and you'd think it's hollow like a regular minifigure. Turns out it's stuffed with bricks like a Thanksgiving turkey. Getting batteries in there? Forget about it. So I'll have to settle for something strapped to the back of the legs, like a butt belt, a vintage bum bag or a tiny backpack. With the battery pack out of the way, I focused on the real challenge, making this maxi figure actually walk. If you ever tried building a LEGO walker, you know that making a beep that walk smoothly and look natural isn't exactly a piece of cake. We humans walk by constantly losing balance. We're dynamically stable, basically falling forward and catching ourselves one step at a time. Simple LEGO robots don't have balance sensors like we do, so they rely on static stability. Their center of mass has to stay right above the support area at all times. And when one foot lifts to take a step, that area shrinks down to a single foot. Now, with the maxi figure, most of the weight is up top, so keeping balance is like trying to stand a hammer on its handle. Designing biped walkers is so hard that even toy designers, yes, including Lego, cheat sometimes. You'll often see feet that just shuffle with hidden wheels, messing overlapping feet like in the barcode set Robot 8479, or that Technic Walker from Idea Book 8891, or even fake legs hiding the real ones inside like the creepy creator Dino 4958, or like I did in my own Boost T-Rex and Boost Cybot. The first official LEGO Biped Walker that really worked smoothly was the LEGO Mindstorm NXT Alpha X from 2007, then refined into the Alpha X 2.0. The LEGO Boost Star Wars Gonk Droid uses a similar mechanism. They use a crank to make each leg both swing back and forth to take a step, and swing left and right at ankle level to shift the weight of the robot from the stepping foot to the one staying on the ground. Once you get the weight shifting in sync with the steps, there's still room for improvement especially when the center of mass is high. The whole robot ends up wobbling like a drunk sailor. Whenever I tackle a new challenge, I always start with research and look at what's already out there. So, taking inspiration from the Alpha X mechanism, I built a prototype that walks straight with just one motor. It's a solid starting point, but it's way too bulky. I need to squeeze the whole mechanism in here. Actually, no LEGO motor would ever fit, so I used the Qubit motor cube and Bluetooth battery cube from Circuit Cubes. The motor is just a bit bigger than a 2x4 brick, geared down and strong enough to move our maxi figure. And the battery box is tiny enough to be mounted on the back of the figure. Jealous Batman! Once I'd miniaturized the walking mechanism, I added these links to push and pull this beam from side to side, keeping the waist level with the ground. As soon as I get a mechanism working, I lose all motivation to make it look good. But this time that's exactly the challenge, decorating these legs so they blend perfectly and evenly with the original maxi figure design. So my next task, and honestly the hardest one for me, was to improve the aesthetics and redesign the legs to keep the mechanism working and make them look good. After a few design tweaks, I ended up with this version. And now let's try it. It doesn't cover every gap, but not because I'm lazy. Those cracks give the legs room to move without parts colliding. If you want to build this, you can get the building instructions on my website. In my Robotics Academy, you'll also find building and programming instructions for robots that can steer and be remote controlled. Link below. And now the moment of truth. Will the legs be able to carry the whole maxi figure weight? Oh, look at it go, wiggling like it owns the runway. You can customize them in different colors to match the look of the Speedster or even Santa. To see another really cool LEGO walking robot that can also steer, watch this next. <laughs> 